Morning everybody, Jeff from Rust Bucket Valley Garage. Uh, we're working on the C3500 this morning and I wanted to show you some things about the rear brakes on uh, on this one here. Okay, in comparison to regular passenger cars. Um, this one right here, this is the, uh, the S10. Uh, basically to take and get the, the brake drums off and everything, there's uh, plastic nuts that come on here, and then there's lug nuts under that. And then uh, once you take the lug nuts off, you can take the wheel off, and then the drum is on studs that are in the end of the axle. Uh, the 3500, and as you take and get into the larger trucks, uh, they're not like that. Let me show you the difference. So on the 3500s, um, Chevrolet has their uh, their logo on here. This is a plastic cap. It has uh, plastic lug nuts on here. You go ahead and spin those off. And then they have the lug nuts underneath. And there are two tires on here. So you go ahead and you take the two tires off. So on the other side, we've removed the two tires. And they came off really easy. And then to get the drum off, uh, it's a little bit more involved. Okay, this is one of the axles. Okay, and they'll be stuck into the end of the axle. Uh, they'll be held in there with uh, these bolts. So you have to take and crank all these bolts loose. Okay, and then what you'll do is you'll take a sledge and you'll bang this on the edge and it will make this axle pop out just a little bit and then you go ahead and pull that out. Okay, and then to take and get the drum off, it's a little bit... Uh, a little bit more involved. Uh, first thing they have, and uh, they have a, th a, uh, a threaded shaft that comes out there, and this is a little snap ring. You must make, take the snap ring off, and then this is a locking ring that's got detents in it around the uh, the outside, and they're held in place by this key. Okay, the key fits in there very loosely. Uh, basically, I, I, I took a, uh, a pair of needle nose pliers and um, pull that out and then you can very easily take and unwind this um, or unscrew this big nut off of here and that this is actually what holds the bearings in so that's where you get your bearing adjustment you know your leash um, so the drum comes off easily after that uh, this one right here we had a problem uh, the customer was saying that the brakes are bad, and so he had kind of a multitude of problems going on. Okay, this is a threaded shaft, this is the keyway that you're dealing with. So anyway, that's a nut that you take and screw off there, and then there's bearings inside here. The whole problem on this one right here, um, they thought the wheel cylinder was leaking. The wheel cylinder is not leaking, however, the inner seal is. This is the inner seal that takes and goes down in here. And what this is allowing is the 90 weight from the rear end to ooze into the, uh, the brake assembly. And as you can see, the shoes are just covered. Springs are covered. Everything is covered in 90 weight, which means that you have zero stopping power on this wheel. Okay, so we're going to have to take and clean all this glop out of the drum and uh, we have a solvent tank in back, we'll just go ahead and dip it in there and then we'll re-grease the bearings, uh, give them a little uh, head start before the, uh, the 90 weight starts lubricating them, which is uh, the way it should. Uh, and then we'll have to take and pull all this apart. We have all brand new hardware for this. We have new wheel cylinder, we have new springs and keepers and brake shoes and everything. Uh, today can put all this thing back together on the other side. We are waiting for um, You can see down here that There is an emergency brake cable here on the other side that is broken. So we are waiting for one of those um, That comes in from the back of the drum and there's a lever underneath this um, This shoe right here that when you pull the emergency brake, it makes this brake shoe here expand out and it, it uh, actually puts the brakes on for a mechanical way, okay, to take and make your uh, vehicle stop like on hills and things like that. 
okay so we're gonna get this cleaned up we're gonna get it back together this is a mess so uh, we're out here early this morning and uh, we're gonna have a heat wave here in Los Angeles and it's gonna be nice and toasty outside and I don't want my guys getting heat stroke so we're gonna take and see how much we can get done by about two o'clock or so and then uh, that's gonna be the end of the day for uh, for us anyway hope I give you a little bit of information by the way welcome to my 101st video and it would not have been possible unless I had such wonderful subscribers and viewers like you. Uh, you're, you're giving me a lot of incentive to take and move on and, uh, and film all the different situations that we run into. Thank you so much. We appreciate you so much. Uh, hit the notification bell if you want to take and see what we do next. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Talk to you next time.